So we're about to install a 20 kilowatt hour 6.6 .6 battery stack from Briggs & Stratton. It's the Simplify 6.6 .6 battery system. Uh, we're going to demonstrate how to attach it to the wall and this video is for installers. So what we're doing here is attaching this system to a training wall, which has got three quarter plywood backing. Uh, for many US installations, we suspect that you'll be installing to studs. And so it's important when you're locating the position um, of, the, of the floor base or the wall base that you center it between your studs. So the first step, if you're doing this on a wall with studs, is to use a stud finder locate your studs, double check that you've got that in the right position. So it is important when you're positioning this uh, floor base to, on the floor that you utilize this spacing bracket. Um, align the center of that spacing bracket with the center of the floor base. After we have the spacing bracket in place and have secured the floor base uh, to the floor, the next step to make it uh, easiest for your installation is to draw a centering line centered above that base. So we're gonna use the center of that, draw a vertical line so we make sure that our wall bracket is going to be vertical. And this will guide us as we place the wall bracket on the wall. Okay, the next step in the process is to secure the wall brackets to the wall. And I, I think that the, probably the easiest way to do this is to pre-assemble the wall brackets and then use that vertical line that we've uh, scribed on the wall uh, to keep the vertical, place, the vertical pieces of the brackets uh, in a straight vertical line. Uh, so John, if you don't mind giving me a hand, let's secure this to the wall. And so what we're doing here is centering the vertical brackets on that line we just made. Perfect. Uh, next step as we're doing this is to make sure our horizontal brackets are completely horizontal. So John's gonna use a torpedo level here uh, and level out each one of those horizontal brackets. Now you will wanna make sure if you're going into studs that you have these uh, screws that we're using to secure the horizontal bracket centered on your studs. There are a number of different uh, openings here to allow different spacing of studs, 12 inch, 16 inch on center, 24 inch on center. After we've installed the wall brackets, the next step is to pull out the spacer and assemble the battery modules. It is important before you start assembling the battery modules that you remove the shoulder screws nearest to the wall brackets. These shoulder screws will pass through the wall bracket to secure the battery modules. John, will you help me assemble the battery modules? Now we are securing the module to the base with a Phillips 2 machine screw. Once the battery modules are in place, you secure it through the wall brackets with the shoulder screws. As you're securing the shoulder screws through the wall brackets, do not expect a tight fit. They are intentionally oversized to allow for wall imperfections. Each of the battery modules connects to the one beneath it with a retaining screw passing through the tab. The last component to install is the controller. The, controller, the stack controller sits on top of the battery modules. It will also get secured with a retaining screw and a shoulder screw. Once the battery modules and controller are secured in position, we will add the side cover plates. These simply sim slip on over the shoulder screws and get pressed down into position.
if you are installing a Solark 15K and you'll be running your battery cabling through conduit, we recommend the use of two one aught cables for both the positive and the negative connection. In order to do this, you will need to use one of the Briggs & Stratton copper spacers. There are five different connection points inside the wiring bay. One is the RS-485 communications port. Another is the CAN bus communications port. We have the negative battery terminal and the positive battery terminal. The last connection is an equipment grounding screw. Use if this is required by your local AHJ. If you are trying to make a waterproof connection, on the wiring bay, you will do that connection through the inside side plate. Do not use an impact driver to secure the battery terminals. You will connect the RS-485 port to the gateway. To complete the waterproof compartment, Secure the six machine screws into the top plate. This completes the 20 kilowatt hour Simplify 6.6 .6 battery. The light will come on and then the fuel gauge will come on on the top.